This episode is brought to you by Skillshare. The first thousand people to sign up using the link in the description will get their first two months free. Ferraris and Lamborghinis are some of the most famous luxury cars in the world. While the history of Ferrari dates back to 1947, when Enzo Ferrari built the 125S under the Ferrari name, Lamborghinis did not come into existence until the 1960s. The story goes that during this time, Ferruccio Lamborghini, a wealthy tractor manufacturer, was a dissatisfied Ferrari customer. Lamborghini went to Ferrari and suggested ways that he could improve his cars. Ferrari did not like receiving advice from a mere tractor mechanic and dismissed him. According to the new economy, he told Lamborghini, you may be able to drive a tractor, but you will never be able to handle a Ferrari properly. Lamborghini was so ticked off at Ferrari that he decided to go off and establish his own car company. In 1963, he founded Automobili Ferruccio Lamborghini and built a factory in Santa Gata Bolognese in Italy. The first car he made was the Lamborghini 350 GTV, which debuted at the Turin Motor Show in 1963, and the two companies have been rivals ever since. Despite this rivalry, these two brands of cars share many similarities, which we will examine in this episode of the Infographic Show, Ferrari vs Lamborghini. Ferraris and Lamborghinis have a reputation for being fast cars, and the 2018 models from both companies do not disappoint in this regard. A comparison of the specs posted on the company websites of both car manufacturers reveals that Ferraris and Lamborghinis are almost equally matched in terms of speed. The maximum speed of Ferrari's cars range from the Ferrari Portofino's top speed of slightly over 199 miles per hour to the La Ferrari Aperta's top speed of over 217 miles per hour. This is similar to the maximum speeds of Lamborghini's cars, which range from the Lamborghini Urus's top speed of 189 miles per hour to the Lamborghini Veneno Roadster's top speed of 221 miles per hour. These speeds are impressive. Especially when you realize that some of these cars are capable of moving faster than Japan's Superconducting Magnetic Levitation Train, or SC Maglev, when it runs at what GoEuro calls its maximum operating speed of 199 miles per hour. However, both Ferrari and Lamborghini are getting left behind in the dust when it comes to the fastest cars in the world competition. While some Ferraris and Lamborghinis still made it onto Digital Trend's June 2018 list of the world's fastest cars, they were outdone by less well-known companies like Swedish automaker Koenigsegg and Hennessy Performance Engineering located in Sealy, Texas. According to the manual, the title of the world's fastest car is officially held right now by the Koenigsegg Agera RS with an average top speed of 278 miles per hour, followed by the Hennessy Venom GT with a recorded top speed of 270.4 miles per hour. Besides having similar speed ranges, both Ferraris and Lamborghinis have similar performance results for acceleration and braking. The Ferrari with the fastest acceleration rate is the Ferrari 488 Pista. It goes from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.85 seconds according to topspeed.com, while specs from Ferrari's website show that the Ferrari Portofino and the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso T have the same slowest 0 to 62 mile per hour acceleration rate of 3.5 seconds. According to Ferrari's website, the braking distances for Ferraris range from slightly under 105 feet for the Ferrari 812 Superfast to 111.5 feet for the Ferrari Portofino. The acceleration and braking specs for Lamborghini's website are nearly the same as those posted by Ferrari. The time it takes for a Lamborghini to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour ranges from 2.8 seconds for the Lamborghini Centenario to 3.6 seconds for cars such as the Lamborghini Huracan, RWD Spider, and the Lamborghini Urus. However, Lamborghinis have slightly shorter braking distances than Ferraris, ranging from 98 feet for the Lamborghini Centenario to about 105 feet for some of the Lamborghini Huracan models. Both Ferraris and Lamborghinis also generally receive high marks for handling. For example, the 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante won Sport Auto's Best Handling Car 2018 test according to AutoEvolution.com. Some of the features that contribute to the Huracan Performante's outstanding handling include a double wishbone fully independent suspension, electronic stability control, and an electronically controlled all-wheel drive system, according to Lamborghini's company website. Meanwhile, Digital Trends praises the sophisticated technology that makes the 2018 Ferrari GTC4 Lusso one of the best handling Grand Tourers ever made. This technology includes 4WS, E-Diff, 
F1 Track, SCM and ESC, SSC4, SCME and 4RM EVO, which stands for 4 Ruoto Motrici or 4 Wheel Drive in Italian. Many Ferraris and Lamborghinis are gas guzzlers, but Ferraris are slightly more fuel efficient than Lamborghinis. The fuel consumption of 2018 Ferraris ranges from the Le Ferrari Aperta's combined rate of 14 miles per gallon, reported by AutoEvolution.com, to the Ferrari Portofino's combined rate of about 22 miles per gallon, posted on Ferrari's website. These figures are slightly better than the EPA MPGs for 2018 Lamborghinis, which range from the combined rate of 12 miles per gallon for the Lamborghini Aventador S Coupe, reported by fueleconomy.gov, to the combined rate of 16 miles per gallon for the Lamborghini Huracan, reported by Car and Driver. Lamborghini's hybrid concept car, the Asterian, gets significantly better gas mileage with a combined fuel consumption rate of 57.4 miles per gallon, according to Lamborghini's website. With so many similarities between the two cars, you might be wondering what sets them apart from each other. The one noticeable difference between Ferraris and Lamborghinis is the design approach taken by their respective manufacturers. A Business Insider article summarizes Ferrari's design approach thusly. Ferraris are all about racing, literally, the entire DNA of the brand. According to some, the most influential in the world derives from the track. Enzo Ferrari founded the Scuderia Ferrari to build race cars. Only later did he decide to create road cars to fund the racing operation. As a result, Ferraris, luxurious though they may be, are full of features that are drawn from the field of high-speed competition, especially Formula One. The 2018 Ferrari 488 Pista is a good example of this race-oriented approach. According to Ferrari's website, it contains dynamic elements that are inspired by the racing world, including a body shell built with ultralight materials and a side-slip control system. Ferrari even states that the name of the car, meaning track in Italian, was chosen specifically to testify to Ferrari's unparalleled heritage in motorsports. Lamborghini's approach is the opposite. According to one article, Lamborghini was not interested in racing his cars, deeming it too expensive and a drain on resources, focusing instead on producing refined road cars with power and comfort. The focus on road rather than race cars resulted in Lamborghini producing other types of vehicles besides two-door sports cars built for speed, giving customers a wider range of vehicles to choose from than Ferrari does. For example, one of the models featured in its 2018 lineup is its second SUV, the Lamborghini Urus, which the Drive.com notes even has an off-road mode for driving in sand. Autoguide.com briefly describes the evolution of Lamborghini's style and some of Lamborghini's distinctive elements thusly. The company has evolved into something beyond a Ferrari clone. Lamborghini has defined itself as an even more over-the-top alternative to Ferrari, with screaming V10 and V12 engines, all-wheel drive, its now iconic angular, wedge-like design, instantly recognizable styling, and trademark swing-up doors. Whether you prefer a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, be prepared to shell out a lot of money to buy one, with prices ranging from $214,533 for the 2018 Ferrari Portofino, according to Car and Driver, to $7.4 million for the 2018 Lamborghini Veneno, according to sfsportsvehicles.com, most of us will be driving one of these cars only in our dreams. These cars are way too expensive, and it's likely most of us will never be able to afford them. But we can fake it and create our own model cars on a computer. We've been learning how to do exactly that by taking a Skillshare class called Model a Concept Car for Film in Blender. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 20,000 classes in management, marketing, UI UX design, and more. The first 1,000 people to sign up by visiting Skillshare.com slash Infographics32 or by clicking the link in the description will receive two months of Skillshare absolutely free. Join Skillshare and start learning today. So, if you could buy a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, which one would you get? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called McDonald's vs. Burger King, How Do They Compare? Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!